Dear Diary. Just a touch of astronomer's fatigue, I suppose. Been staring at the night sky for decades, but lately. Well, lately it feels like it's staring back. Stars are all out of whack, constellations gone wonky. Like a child playing with a celestial puzzle box and scattering the pieces. Picked up a dusty old astronomy tome the other day. Musty pages filled with forgotten lore. Maybe it holds a clue to what's going on up there. Back to the observatory tomorrow night. A good cup of coffee and a clear view might be all I need to untangle this celestial mess. Devon Cromwell. A curious development has transpired. During a late night observation, I discerned an anomalous alignment of stars forming a symbol eerily reminiscent of an obscure glyph found within the pages of that peculiar tome I recently acquired. The resemblance is disquieting, a cosmic echo that whispers of forgotten lore. Tomorrow I shall delve deeper into the arcane knowledge housed within the tome, hoping to find a thread that might unravel the enigmatic tapestry woven across the night sky. The pursuit of truth, even if it leads to the uncharted territories of the inexplicable, remains my unwavering objective. These cursed stars, they mock me from the inky blackness. Every night, a new nonsensical pattern, like some cosmic prankster is rearranging the furniture in the heavens. Last night out there under the alien constellations, I swear I felt it, a presence, a gaze burning into me from the depths of space, like a million unseen eyes watching, judging, probably just sleep deprivation messing with my head again. Speaking of my head, it feels like it's filled with wool. Been over those dusty books for days, nights blurring into one another. Found some fascinating stuff though, ancient stories about the stars, about things lurking out there in the darkness, stuff that makes your skin crawl, but somehow, strangely compelling. Sleep offers little solace, a battlefield between exhaustion and the burning compulsion to unravel the secrets whispered by the stars. Each dawn greets me with a hollow sense of accomplishment, a paradox that gnaws at the edges of my sanity. An unseen presence hangs heavy in the night air, a malevolent gaze that seems to pierce through the very fabric of reality. My thoughts, once a bastion of logic, now veer towards fantastical notions, propelled by a disorienting lightness of mind. Oddly enough, aches and pains that have plagued me for years have vanished, replaced by a disturbing sense of physical invigoration. While a part of me welcomes this change, a deeper voice whispers warnings of an unnatural transformation. The name Jarla Rongath continues to echo in the recesses of my mind. A most peculiar development has transpired. My reflection in the mirror reveals a visage surprisingly devoid of wrinkles, as if the cosmos itself has bestowed upon me a newfound vitality. However, a disquieting realization has taken root. My focus seems to falter with an alarming frequency. Huh. Diary. Moments ago, I was engrossed in a specific detail, and now it escapes me entirely. It's as though a veil of forgetfulness has descended upon my mind. The metamorphosis, both physical and mental, has become an undeniable truth, seamlessly integrated into the fabric of my being. It compels me to question the very essence of my identity. As I prepared for the day, my hand paused midair, hovering over a face devoid of the need for shaving. And a fleeting disorientation washed over me. Why perform such an odd ritual? A faint echo of memory, a whisper from a bygone era, flickered in the recesses of my mind, reminding me of a time when such actions were necessary. The dissonance is a constant companion, a stark reminder of the gulf between my present reality and the fading embers of a forgotten self. Still, gotta admit, the whole smooth face thing is kinda cute. My newfound change feels like it comes at a cost. A fuzzy feeling has begun to cloud my memories, a disquieting feeling of something to come. Dearest Diary, 
time for another update. My life is like full of sparkles right now. The universe must have totally noticed me and blessed me with, like, endless energy and motivation. I feel so good. Okay, so this morning, I was having my coffee and bam, I had this, like, cosmic deja vu. It felt like I'd been here before, even though my memory is playing hide and seek with me again. Uh, wait a sec, what was I gonna mention again? Oh, right. Remember Gyarla Ranga? Apparently, she wants to, like, totally use these special keys to unlock a secret entrance to Earth. Sounds kinda sketchy, but also like the ultimate VIP pass to the coolest party ever, right? And me obsessing over those dusty old astronomy books? Well, totes over them. Yarla Rangath totally schooled me on the real deal the cosmos is. Like, way more than boring charts and stuff. Speaking of the queen bee herself, she invited me to be her official cosmic ambassador to this super secret dimension. Can you believe it? We're gonna unlock the door and it's gonna be the most epic thing ever. Ugh, but there's one teeny tiny bummer. Giarla says this old tome is like, so last season. She promised to download all the cosmic knowledge straight into my brain with her super cool space lasers. How high tech is that? So yeah, guess I'm leaving this dusty relic behind for someone to find. See ya on the flip side diary. Don't worry, I'll send you postcards. Love, always, Star Chaser Devon.